Chief Prine also adding it is not their policy to release police body cam video, but a new law going into effect in September will allow Dallas's loved ones to formally request to see the body cam video. Tristan Ruper joins us now live and on your side after speaking with Representative Wanda Gavan, who sponsored this bill. That's right, Sarah. She says she's delighted that the bill passed and that it's already being referenced, but she is concerned that the result in this case could set the standard moving forward when it comes to this new law. I guess to determine whether or not there's at least one prosecutorial office or law enforcement office that will issue or allow a family member to view the body cam footage. Representative Gavan says the legislation is not only about giving relief to families who are hurting, but that it can help shape the public safety of Alabama. If there is an event that is so catastrophic that there will be uh, rioting, picketing, protesting of all sorts, and so it gives us an avenue. So I don't want the bill to be lost on this litmus test. She also believes the bill is a jumping off point and that changes can be made in the future if necessary. This is a first step. We can come back and amend this legislation, but we have to give the, uh, an opportunity for the legislation to work. It's important to remind you at home that while the bill does give an avenue for hurt loved ones or perhaps a representative of the family to request to see body camera footage, the law enforcement agency or department can decline to disclose if it would impact an active investigation. Reporting in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.